lecture on stress. Actually, friends, what is stress? Stress is any uh, tension that is produced in our body. Okay. Now, stress is produced due to two causes. One is the environmental because of the environmental condition, and one one is because of the emotional conditions. Okay. Environmental conditions like uh, 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 physical physical environment. There is a severe condition in physical environment like stress. Okay. Uh, any chill, any chill conditions, any hot conditions, or any uh, drastic conditions are, pre are present in the environment, they can produce a situation called stress. And if we go through such events or thoughts which produces uh, stress in our body, such as uh, there are some emotional thoughts that can also cause the stress. So, when our body is exposed to the stress, that may be because of the environmental conditions or emotional conditions that causes a response called stress response okay so that produces the stress response the response produced because of the stress is called the stress response now when the stress response is produced our body is activated our body is activated to fight the stress and when our body is activated our nervous system, our endocrine system and immune system is activated. Okay. Now, when uh, our body is uh, responding to the stress, our body, uh, nervous system is activated, our brain is activated that how should we fight with the stress. Our, uh, some of the hormones are produced, our endocrine system is activated that help us to fight the stress. Our immune system is also activated that also helps us to fight against the stress. Now, there are some hormones called stress hormones. stages, mainly three stages. What are they? They are alarm stage, they are resistance stage and the third stage is the exhaustion and recovery or recovery stage. These are the three stages. Now, first stage is the alarm stage. In this stage, this stage can be further subdivided into the two phases, shock phase and the anti-shock phase. Now, what is the shock phase? In the shock phase, for the, when our body is facing the stress for the first time, it the resistance drops suddenly. Okay, our body is not able to identify the stress, so our resistance drops suddenly. After the shock phase, which is a very short phase, there is another phase called the anti-shock phase. In this phase, the body starts to respond to the stress. Okay, and in this phase, our body is start uh, our body starts fighting with the stress okay now when our body is responding to the stress our sympathetic nervous system is activated now what is the sympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system is a part of autonomic nervous system and uh, parasympathetic system is also a part of uh, autonomic nervous system now auto what is autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system is a nervous system present in our body which is responsible for the automatic processes that are occurring in our body okay now, the when the sympathetic nervous system is activated, our body starts responding to the stress. There is a response called fight, flight or freeze reaction. Because of this uh, anti-shock uh, anti response, anti-shock phase, our body starts this reaction. Fight means to fight against the stress, flight to get away from the stress and freeze for some time our body got, got freeze against the stress. Okay. So now this is the anti-shock phase when our body start the responding against the stress. This is the anti-shock phase. Now the sec after the alarm stage, there is a stage called resistance stage. In this stage, when our body has produced many metabolites that can cause the anti-inflammatory and entry uh, stress response, uh, our body has already produced the stress hormones. Okay, our body uh, has our body produces a catabolic effect where many of the metabolites are produced by because of the catabolism, and our body is fighting against the stress that phase is called the resistance stage the first stage is the alarm stage when uh, there is alarm in our body our first the body is not able to identify the 
uh, stress in the shock phase. In the second stage in the anti-shock phase, our body identifies the stress and then after this, our body, when our body has actually identified the stage, there is a phase called resistance phase, when our body is fighting against the stress. Now, the third stage is called the exhaustion or recovery stage. In the exhaustion stage, our body is exhausted. Okay, our after producing, actually our body is uh, uh, trying to cope up with the stress. Our body has produced many metabolites and our body is fighting against the uh, stress. But after a limit, our body is need, sometimes our body is not able to fight against the stress and that phase is called the exhaustion phase. And if our body is able to fight against the stress, our body is able to cope up with the stress, our body is able to remove the stress, the uh, third stage is called the recovery stage. So, third, the third stage may be exhaustion stage or recovery stage. If our, if our body is able to maintain the homeostasis after fighting against the uh, stress, that is called the recovery stage. And if our body is not able to maintain the homeostasis after fighting, uh, after trying to fight against the stress, that is called the exhaustion phase. Okay. Now, what is homeostasis? Homeostasis is the equilibrium stage that is maintained in our body. Our body has a normal temperature, normal metabolic activity, normal functional activity, normal physiological activity that must be maintained to maintain the life. And if our body is able to maintain that particular stage after fighting against the infection, uh, stress, that is called the homeostasis. So, if we are facing any stress that can be emotional or environment for a very long time, that may cause damage to our body, that may cause necrosis to our body and, and that may also cause depression in our body. That's why we, we, sh we should find some ways, some proper ways to fight against the stress. Otherwise, homeostasis will not be maintained in our body and our body will get damaged. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, subscribe and comment on my videos. Keep watching GuruKPU.com. Thank you.